H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Yes, who is oh. this? Uh, this is Uma. Hi, Uma. Hi. I, I heard that you were all discussing Unix commands, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was a cat command that you were discussing about, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd like to add something there. Can I? Okay, please go ahead. Yeah, cat followed by the file name, it will display the contents of the file. And then cat followed by uh, the one greater than symbol and then the file name will actually uh, open an existing file or if the file is not there, it will create that file and open it uh, for any contents to be typed in it. Like uh, you can then, you know, the dollar symbol doesn't, uh, uh, the prompt doesn't appear after that. So you can type something in that and then you press control D, then that will close the file. And then uh, the cat followed by the double greater than symbol and then the file name, it's, it's actually used to open the existing file and edit it. Like you can add more contents to it. This is my understanding. So I just wanted to share that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Kala, is this for the interview for uh, QA? Hello? Hello, are you there? Uh, do you hear me? Yes, Kalai. Yeah, you can see my screen. Yeah, we can see your screen. Kalai, is this for the interview questions for the QA position? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I okay. got some six, seven, uh, yeah, some 25 questions are there. Um, one second. I, I'm not able to see the question. Same thing. Um, I'm worried, I'm worried, yeah. You can see the questions now, just on the screen. We can see the questions, Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, the first question is like a shell pro programming, but I'll, uh, if you guys read, I, I understood only a little bit, and it is hard for us. We need to read more, I think. So, if you guys have any idea, we can share it. Construct pipes to execute the following job. They have some um, five questions. Output of who should be displayed on the screen with the value of total number of users who have logged in displayed at the bottom of the list. Does anyone understand this question? 
Yeah, yeah. For Unix, like uh, there should be a server. Yeah. All users are clients. So for one server, how many people are connected to the server? Maybe that is the one. I even I don't know exactly, but it's my understanding. Output of who should be displayed on the screen with the value of total. Yeah. Usually, like when we are entering into Unix, uh, like programming, so we have to connect to server first. Then we have to create our username and password. So, like one client is like one user here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how many people, like uh, you and me and some other, are connecting to the same server? So, some people or managers want to know like uh, who are connected to the server so that displays that uh, okay. users list okay. that is the command that will give who right dollar followed by who yeah yes yeah yes okay the next one is output of ls should be displayed on the screen and from this output the lines containing the word poem should be counted and the count should be stored in the file it's like a, a little bit a short uh, shell programming, I think. Uh, I try to read the question. I, I understood, but I don't know how to say it here. Output of the list should be displayed on the screen, and from this output. The lines containing the word poem should be counted and the count should be stored in a file. To count the word, we have to use the command named WC followed by space minus L. It will count the number of lines in the file. And uh, it will be, the count will be stored, the number of lines in the file stored in the name, uh, some other, some file. And uh, the syntax is LS. Pipeline, we need the pipeline operator, like uh, one line, uh, the electrical line, thing. pipeline operator, WC space minus L. And greater than symbol, you have to uh, give the file name. I think if anyone try to understand and uh, give the answer. Uh, with my understanding, it says the like, output of is uh, that means uh, the command is is right is poem yes. ls and uh, 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 sorry um. ls poem uh, means uh, the it will uh, count the number of uh, uh, words uh, that says uh, the poem as a word. Yeah. It will count the number of words. Okay, yeah. And then it gets stored in a file. So which file name it will get stored? We uh, we need to mention the file name. I think so. Yeah, we need to mention and uh, whichever line has poem, that one only is counted and it, and the count should be stored in a file. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and yeah, that is in uh, WC space minus L. That is the syntax to count the number of lines. L. So maybe we'll try to uh, I'll be I'll try to bring the exact answer. No, I'm not getting it. Next third one is contents of file one and file two should be displayed on the screen, and this output should be appended in a file. So can you know the uh, command for this? Contents of file one and file two should be displayed on the screen, and the output should be appended in a file. Appended means we'll use the double greater than symbol, adding and putting in the different thing. I think catch file one. File two, double greater than symbol, and uh, file name. So maybe it is maybe new file, maybe uh, file three. So the file three is the file name. So file one content and file two content is going to be appended into the file three. So the command will be like a cat file one, file two, double greater than file three. So is understood. This is the answer, I think. Maybe uh, if you can write the answer next to the question now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. 
file maybe the read one read only file uh, yeah maybe a file only that is a half part of question right uh, and there is some more missing yeah from output from output of the ls the lines containing poem should be displayed on the string along with the count ls containing the poem should be displayed on the string along with the count some questions are not uh, so good they didn't form the correct you think how to really use these commands in tester like in company uh, yeah i think um, they are asking for us only beginners only i think guys oh. uh, this the uh, first question is little bit confusing for us like uh, related with the shell program small simple shell program it continues till i think not much but uh, we know the basics of the commands what the So uh, how to list? How you can cut uh, display the files like that? Those only they use, but not clear these questions. Mm, but this yeah, looks uh, like more than what they taught us, right? I mean, little confusing. Yeah, little yeah. bit maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's what I started with the yeah, second. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I know. Because we were not taught this deep, well, you know, in the class. So I'm like really confused. Yeah, yeah. Because there are so many other things to learn. Skip the first question and yeah. Then the I think we should skip the hard ones because yeah. that's sure. making us more nervous. Second question is explain the following comment. I think uh, we know ls greater than file one. Anyone say what is that? What will it will do? The second question, first comment. It displays the file one contents. Okay, yeah. That ls it lists whatever in the file bar. Then banner hyphen greater than message. Yeah, uh, it displays like a banner hyphen that message it displays. Yeah, hyphen is the hyphen uh, is like a banner. Yeah, whatever you uh, write type following the banner, it will be displayed, and they get, they are storing in the message mess, file name to call message also. Right. Yeah. And third command is chat. Pair three, pair four, and pair five, and double greater than report. So anyone knows what it would do? No. It will open the commands. Um, I mean the files um, from the. Oh, is that a file name or a parameter kind of thing? I think it's a, a parameter kind of thing. I think. So whatever we are uh, giving here, it will be appended to the file named report. Pair three, pair four, and pair five. What it may be a file or parameter. Whatever we are giving here, this will be added, appended, appended means adding into the file named report. Okay. Yeah. And our it's next like hello. A report hello. is a file in the pair three, pair four, pair five are also three files. Those three files are appended into report file, right? You are saying? Yes. It's the left to one, left to right. Uh, first part three will be appended, then part four, then part five. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have a question here. Mm -hmm. um, I thought cat is followed by the double greater than symbol immediately, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I'm confused about the command here. I thought cat follows by the double greater than symbol, and then the you know report or whatever. So what is part three, part four? Uh, What is it exactly, sir? So? These are the things like a file, data or file or anything you 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 are going into. This is called source like that. So we are going into uh, moving into the report or uh, sorry, we are going to add actually here we are appending because double greater than symbol we are appending to the file named report. Okay. So these are the data like input source. We are going to move or uh, move the data from part three, part four, part five to the report. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Next one is a cat file one greater than file one. So is there you anyone knows please what is it in this? It's a concatenation of file. Oh, yeah, yeah. It will overwrite. So whatever a file one greater than file one. So whatever it may, uh, it will overwrite whatever in file one. If whatever now the file they gave the same name right now we are we have some data in this left hand side file one if you are displaying with the same file name one means whatever data already there they are going to overwrite it it won't save the bring the back old data 
new data will be there. Only if you put double greater than symbol, the data will be appended. Only one greater than symbol, uh, one greater than symbol means it is going to override the data file. Yes, understood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so say for example, it may be the different name means maybe you can understand using cat file two greater than file one. Say for if you change the number, maybe we can change the thing a little. Bit. So file two greater than file one means file two. Whatever data in file two is going to be stored in file one, but the file one data will be uh, erased. It won't be there. It uh, data will be the latest data only the overwritten. Overwritten means we can't see the old data. If you use the single greater than symbol with the um, cat, that is the difference. Overwriting. Hi. Could you please uh, explain the third one one more time? I didn't get it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's sure. Cat pair 3, pair 4, and pair 5, double greater than report. This pair 3, pair 4, pair 5 is all a data. A data. This will be added into a file named report. Suppose report file has some 10 lines. Already some data will be there. Whatever you can, uh, if you have the uh, command uh, in it, you can try and this thing. Just type something, some three, four lines. Then if you have uh, give the uh, path three, path four, path five, or the, it may be a different file or different data. It all will be going to add it into your file. One by one. First path three, then path four, and path. Okay. Thank you. I got it. Next is date who this uh, command. Uh, anybody knows what it will do? I think it displays the um, current date uh, from the system, right? Yes, yes, yes. And date a uh, semicolon. This is a syntax. Uh, who greater than log file? Will it bring the log file date? Yes, or log file, but I'm not much uh, sure about uh, what log file will do. Mm, or the date might be uh, the current date uh, will be saved in the log file, or uh, I didn't get it completely. Yeah, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Blade, can anyone just review uh, question one in a few lines? Question one is a little hard, so, so we kind of skipped it and came to the second question. I couldn't understand it. Yeah. Oh, uh... Sorry, uh, date, who means it just uh, it will display a date and who on the screen, who is logged in the screen. Okay. And date, semicolon, who greater than log file. And date is displayed and the who is uh, whatever display later, it will be going to the log file. Log file, uh, it will be stored in the log file. Who means who logged into the system. And if you put the parenthesis, if you put, it will store both the data. What is the date and who is logged in? Data, the information will be going to the log file. That is the grouping. If you use the parenthesis, that is the grouping. Two commands will be executed and it will be stored in the log file as well as uh, displayed on your screen too. If you're not putting the parenthesis, date will be displayed on the screen. Whichever statement executed last, that output will be stored in the log file. If you open the log file, you can see the data, whoever logged in the and the current date, like that data. You guys understood? Date, date, semicolon, who, it is combining the statements. At a time, it will execute the date and who, and uh, uh, and stored, result will be stored in the log file. If you're not putting the parenthesis, it will display only the last statement, whichever the compiler executed, that will be stored in the log file. And if you put the parenthesis 
between uh, then it the both the results both the statement the command results will be stored in the log file date as well as the who log in who whose output whose semicolon is operated to combine the statement combine the two different statement or two different commands you got it Anything else? You have doubt? Now you can ask me. I know. Uh, I can say a uh, little slow where uh, date semicolon who it will display date as well as who uh, who uh, who output uh, who means who is logged into the currently like that it will display on the screen only. If you put the file name greater than log file, log file is the file name. So date will be displayed on the screen, and whose output, who is the, uh, currently who is in this logged in, that will that detail will be stored in the log file. If you put the parentheses, then it will be combinedly executed, and the, both the uh, date output and whose output will be stored in the log file. If you don't put the parentheses, the statement which is executed loss that output only goes into the log file directed into the log file date will be only displayed on the screen it won't be on the log file that is the different parentheses and no parentheses guys you guys understood or yeah can you uh, give an example of which one would be used when what you're looking for Yeah, if suppose uh, it's just date and who is only the thing needed for the suppose the manager or your team lead, whoever logged into the system for, in the day, so they will give the command in the cell a command date comma who semicolon who and greater than log file if they give, and they will see, they will uh, see that information in the file for who are all logged into the server from the morning or uh, uh, what. From the date who is logged in, that will be they can look it in the log file. The details will be in the log file. So this is the most useful command: date semicolon who greater than log. Other thing just to display the information: not the date semicolon who means the date will be on the screen and who logged in into the server. That one only store in the log file. The last command is a useful command for uh, the people who in, involved in the project. Who a team lead or manager, whomever it may be. For us, we will know the just if we were, we can just practice date who these things and uh, if we can see how the unique server we can practice date semicolon who later than log file and the difference between the parenthesis command and that command. Parenthesis means both the uh, this date and who is different different command. We are combining it with the semicolon and grouping with the parenthesis. So that will be both the results should be stored in the log file, the output output file name, the log file they get. I am not having any practical experience, but I executed commands very long back. Uh, so uh, current with the project related, I can't say. If anybody knows, if I can say. You know, doubt is. Is this a doubt to this output? What is it from? I will move to the next question. Move to the next one. Sure. Uh, what is the significance of this C command? It's. I think it's important. It, they will ask the question in the interview. I think so. It reads the standard input and send it to the standard output. That is the relate. Uh, that's the. That is the output they need. That is the answer they need. It will. Uh, Read the input whatever in the file, and it is sent to the standard output. The other things are stored while rewriting the copy of what it has to read the file specified by the user. It reads the standard input and send it to the standard file. P command. This part it will read the input and send it to the standard output. Like say for example like. This. I I don't know the difference between the cat and p command. That also do the same thing. The cat and the thing it will read the it will display then. It